And, um, you know, beyond e-cigarettes, just tobacco in general, damned, all dangerous. I, it is dangerous. <laughs> Anytime you put a foreign substance into your lungs, that's dangerous, isn't it? Yeah, I Didn't would say so. Didn't they have lawsuits about this and, once and upon a time? Would, it would appear now it's slightly more recall? dangerous. <laughs> it's a lot <laughs> more a dangerous. More. There you go. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what was not dangerous was being outdoors today. Wow. It was pretty spectacular, it was wasn't it? Yep. And if you were down here visiting, because you're down uh, from other places, at least north of the Florida Georgia line, you really were in for a treat today because we had some pretty gorgeous weather. We got some rain showers later in the day. Most of those showers east of I-75 affecting the central part of our state. And you can see them, they're still there at this hour, but most of the activity is moving on up towards the north and it's pretty much on the light side, some heavier rain Rains have been right along the spine of the state, but nothing affecting the coastline at this point. So if you were out doing some boating today, it was the perfect day to be outside. You can see most of those rain showers east of Wachula and Arcadia, and they're moving straight on up towards the north. So today, we got up to a high of 84. We're supposed to be 73 this time of the year, but 84 was our high. Certainly not a record. That was set back in 1967 with a 90 degree reading. And right now it's 77 degrees. Dew point, humidity levels are high. Winds are coming in out of the south at around seven miles per hour. And look at the temperatures around the state. We're seeing 50s in Pensacola, all the way down to Naples reporting 84 degrees at this hour. And we're looking at very warm temperatures right here across our viewing area as well. So we've got temperatures mostly in the 70s, but we are looking at a couple of 80s right now. And temperatures are not going to cool off a whole lot, at least not over the next couple of days. So what we're looking at is this cold front. Behind the front is very cold weather. In advance of it, we are experiencing it. It's the warm stuff that's taking place all across the region. So this cold front comes all the way through to central Florida and then it's going to stall out and we may get a couple of showers that will pop up in advance of it. But for the most part, we're going to be seeing some fog developing once again. We've got the patchy fog for tonight lingering through the morning hours tomorrow. The front stalls across central Florida and then winter is on Wednesday. But we're still going to see those temperatures very close to that 80 degree mark. And as you can see, the rain showers are pretty much going to stay very scattered, very spotty across the region. We may get a couple of showers that move on in 3.30 in the morning on Monday. Here's the front coming on through, and that front just really not producing a whole lot. Certainly nothing in the way of cold weather. So we are not going to see any, any cold weather, at least not until the end of the year. So this is what we're looking at right now. The coldest weather is bottled up here across the northern plain states and down through the central part of the nation. And it's starting to filter on in. It just doesn't make its way here. So we've got the morning sea fog tomorrow morning. If you're heading off to the beaches and you're, you're doing your morning walk, we've got increasing clouds throughout the day with a temperature reading of about 80 degrees at the airport. Tonight, it's areas of fog with mild temperatures, 70 degrees for the overnight low. We have have that lingering morning fog as well. Temperatures will be in the low 80s once again. And this is what it looks like. Foggy weather through Tuesday, Wednesday, the first day of winter. And it's going to be 81 degrees, Adam.